Greetings, folks. Well, yes, folks. Welcome to Black Metal and Brews. We're here for day two of Beer Camp with Colloquial Sound Recordings and Sierra Nevada Brewing Company's collaborative series. Today, we're taking a trip to Asheville, North Carolina for Tater Ridge, along with music from our pals, Field of Spears, whose cassette Heathen Youth I reviewed earlier this year. It's fantastic. We're going to listen to it while we drink some good earthy beer. Well, at least I'd imagine it's earthy because it was brewed with sweet potatoes. I feel that the pairing of that and this fantastic neofolk will go nicely for tonight's drinking experience. This tape is just really one of the more beautiful ones of the year to relax to, and uh, as someone who spends a lot of time listening to aggressive, poorly produced, uh, just generally harsh and intense music, this is great to unwind, kind of allow my brain to decompress. So you can see right off the bat, this pours picture perfect. This lovely, lovely little beer there. It's got a smell, huh? Not unlike what you'd expect. A little earthen. It's nice. Gonna give it just a minute here to uh, calm down. I thought this was an interesting beer in that uh, Sierra Nevada is collaborating with the Asheville Brewers Alliance which is not a specific brewery, unlike a lot of the things they're doing in this, uh, in this set here. It's actually a cooperative of brewers in Asheville, as well as the surrounding regions that also include Sierra Nevada, because I guess they have a substation or brewing operation in Mills Creek, I, I believe it is. Uh, but don't quote me, I'm not an expert, I'm just learning as I go, and hoping that you'll enjoy the journey with me. Uh, so, double checking this for ABV, 7% alcohol by volume, a little stronger than uh, some, but it's a 12 ounce bottle, so nothing too ambitious. Uh, anyway, you can see the head is really holding up on this, so I'm just going to kind of, well, get it stuck in my beard. Let's have a great time. So, well, as we all know, sweet potato just got just a rich, nice flavor to it. And this does, you can definitely actually taste the uh, sweet potato in this Scottish ale. Uh, it does taste, however, more like just a traditional Scottish ale or Scotch ale or whatever you might call it. Uh, than anything that you'd imagine to be sweet. So don't expect uh, a heavy, you know, malt bomb, sugar bomb, etc. While there's certainly the element of caramel in both color and taste, uh, this is, it's subdued a bit. Uh, nice, earthy. Uh, I enjoy this uh, more than the other beer I had uh, from this year so far, the uh, English style bitter uh, there and back. Although that was still nice, uh, this is a little more my speed as a darker beer. Uh, Scottish ales and I, I, I enjoy them when I can find them, but I've only had a few. I uh, can really think of Old Chubb off the top of my head from Oscar Blues, who also have a beer in this set that we'll be trying soon. Uh, should be a really good time. Uh, well, I'm gonna give it a few more sips, bask in the uh, majestic timelessness of Field of Spears. Field of Spears is a project, uh, I believe, well, I'm almost entirely sure, run by a fella who started the classic blog, Black Metal Owns You, uh, Attila the Hun, what have you. Uh, it, it was absolutely essential for me as I began to get on the internet to discover music in about 2007. Uh, I found music other ways before that, but 
I was a little late to the internet game due to dial-up and uh, having other things to do with my time before then. Uh, so that blog really helped me a lot. This fella uh, clearly isn't making black metal here, but uh, it took me a while to get behind Field of Spears, I'll admit, but this cassette really has me going, and since then I've been kicking myself endlessly for not picking up the uh, four cassette box that Colloquial Sound also put out uh, about a year back now. So, in a way, this kind of feels to me to be treading the ground between a brown ale and, a, and the other Scottish ales I've had. Uh, you can see the uh, foam is still just holding up there, nice little lacing on the glass. Uh, this is definitely a slow sipper, uh, perfect for the somber sounds that we are enjoying currently. Uh, I find it, there's almost that little aftertaste that kind of reminds me of whiskey. Don't ask me to clarify whiskeys. I'm learning with joy about whiskey currently uh, through videos from the excellent Ralphie, uh, but by no means am I an expert because I just simply haven't got the finances to sample whiskey with regularity. But much like a whiskey-aged beer, uh, this has that light element of that kind of bittersweet. Uh, folks who know what I'm talking about, well, well, they'll know what I'm talking about. I have no idea what I'm talking about. With that, I'm going to let you guys uh, relax with your own suds. This tape, I believe, is still available in the Colloquia Sound Recording Store, as well as in their band camp. Uh, this beer can also be found in the beer can box. Until I see you next time, cheers. Enjoy a drink.